Cody's a little fired up. And that's not good. Because I don't want him to fire up Mike. Come on, Dan. We need this. We need it, buddy. Yeah, I don't like giving uh, <laughs> giving him six and then giving him another three. Let's get at it. Throwing nice shoes, though they are. <laughs> definitely definitely getting out a little little out of hand this is this is what we usually give them 12 this is where we usually start with the two baggers we usually give them a handicap of 12 so we definitely don't want to Give them any more, boys. <clears throat> Alright. That definitely leaves uh, Dan some room. There he goes. They just they just painted the stakes again, so they got paint wet paint all over the shoes. That's what Rick's wiping up. The way they're thrown, Rick, you got to have those on there, buddy. Those definitely have to be on there. Got lucky on that one. Real lucky. But we did lose first throw. So back under the gun. Nice shoe, Dan. Almost the six pack. <coughs> Dan's doing all the work. Those are all all Dan's seven points. Come on, come on, Rick, get into it. There we go. Now I just have to hope Cody doesn't top that. He was saying, oh, before he even let go of it. <laughs> Willie, you kidder. 
Yeah, charisma. You got character. You me, got guns. Me and Burt Reynolds. Oh, you're missing sleeves. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah I one on the side there, Davy boy. I, I put, I put on the gun show for the cameras tonight. Yeah. You got a permit for them? That's how little room there is between those two still. pits. Short, you can see my my arm swinging right there. There's a lot to complain about these pits, but the one thing is they have pits. So I'm pretty glad that they host two uh, two teams out of this one bar. So. So as much as we complain about how the pits are and everything like that, they're they're definitely participating and been a big part of our league. So very happy for that. So Rick getting some points there. Be nice to Dan get this one. Come on, all right. Come on, Almost. Mike, Very close. Here we go. What for this? What for? What for? Why wish for four? Call it out. What happened, Dave? There it is. Oh. <laughs> he, th he throws right at my camera. You can see that sucker right at that level. There. Oh. Whew, got lucky. Oh, that was so close. Nice. Covered that one. Same spot to the right. Fifteen ten. Yeah, we we climb pretty close to him, but now we're letting him slip away a little bit. Time for Dan to reel him in. Very nice. Please don't six it. Oh, so close. Dan's got to cover that, or otherwise they uh, they go uncomfortably too close to twenty one. That'll put them at eighteen. Right there, it was just not open. Hey Bob, we got skunk. <laughs> oh, yeah. At least I did. Yeah. <laughs> Jake is over there Keep farting. Going, <laughs> <laughs> and it stunk. So it is eighteen ten. Not good, not good. When we're shooting good, 18 to 10 doesn't matter. We can we can definitely overcome that, but but we're not shooting good, so. So 
So normally I can uh, have confidence in recovering that, so we'll see what happens. That was, mm, that was on and off. Oh, that was lucky. I, yeah, what, what's going on with those shoes? He, he, he's, he, it looks like he's not coming in. He's not coming in flat. He's coming in over rotated. So his, his shoes are his shoes are coming in standing straight up. So a lucky break. I only got one on that one, so we're still alive. Right there. So Dan has a lot of room, basically staring at an open pit, we like to call it. If there's not a ringer on, it's an open pit. The look on Dan's face as soon as he let go of that was like, oh, darn it. One they go. Another foot, Jake, right on target. One us, go. Yeah, one us. All right. That's Rick's worst nightmare, uh, Cody going first. All right, Bob, I'm there for you, I think. I believe you, Dave. <clears throat> well, so far, so good. One at a time. Fuck! <laughs> All right, this is a big time for Rick. Remember that time I ran out of gas and took me home on your shoulders? Fuck! Yeah, now pay me back for that. Hmm. <laughs> you haven't lost it. I think it's more of a uh, just just a confidence thing and just one of those things where we all woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. I don't know. you got to look back on games one and two and go, well, what happened? And we're not changing anything. We're just throwing normal. <laughs> That's all it takes is for. <clears throat> Top ringer, nobody. Top ringer. Nice topper. So all he has to do is just keep this one in front. Very good shoes. That was almost a six pack. Great shoes. Yeah, nobody throws over there. That was one you wouldn't even have to pull. <laughs> but on the off chance that somebody does throw over there and hits a dead shoe and it ricochets and goes on the pipe, that's when you say, damn, I should have pulled that. <laughs> So nowadays, any shoe anywhere on the wood or concrete, I just get rid of. If it's if it's if it's, if it's sticking into the into the dirt, into our material, I pull it. I don't want anything accidentally happening. That's it. Needed one, they got one. So, thanks for watching. We're just not shooting good, so they're shooting. They're shooting good. We're not. It's what it takes to beat us. Just not shooting good.
So thank you for watching.